my dear friends welcome to raj shekar classes on applied data science with python this is lecture number 410 in this lecture i will continue my discussion on bootstrapped aggregation or bagging so these two aggregation operations of majority vote just try to recall which we discussed about majority vote is extensively used for for classification for classification similarly similarly mean or median mean or median for regression for regression for regression very very simple idea when we perform when we perform bootstrapped sampling this is very very key idea of bagging what did we do our total data set is dn we sampled and got d dn dash d1 d dn1 dn2 so on dn k on each of these data sets we created models isn't it we created models m1 m2 so on mk then we are aggregation then here what we are doing we are after creating model we are aggregating this is how pipeline works each of these models are seeing just see model 1 model 2 so on model k each of these models are seeing different samples here these models are seeing different different samples of different samples of data isn't it remember none of them see the whole data they are seeing only part of the data a random sample of data isn't it if the data change slightly just see if the data change if the data change dn change slightly before we go and understand this what is variance first we will try to understand what is what is variance what is variance in in a model in the bias in the bias variance trade off a variance of model is nothing but how much does the model change a model is said to a model is said to have high variance if the model changes a lot with changes in training data that is d train this dn is my training data let's assume n equal to 10000 points 10000 points in dn isn't it in which i changed 100 points let me say in these 1000 points i changed 100 points in training data that is dn by changing 100 points only subset of dn that is dn power 1 what are the subsets of dn dn power 1 dn power 2 so on dn power k will impacted because these 100 points of total let me say these 100 points of total set total 10000 points isn't 100 points of 10000 points let's assume i collected here 5000 points here 5000 points here 5000 points isn't it let's assume i collected 5000 points in each case means in dn dash dn power 1 dn power 1 dn power 2 so on dn power k in sampling 5000 points each each 100 points will only be will only be seen by subsets of this these 100 points will these 100 points will not seen by all the models these points which are changed in my original data set that is in 10000 points 100 points have been changed because of the sampling strategy we employed because of the sampling strategy we employed only a bunch of these data sets will change let's assume i removed 100 points let's let's assume i removed i removed 100 points let it be let it let's assume uh, i removed 100 points from the total data set only subset of these will change which means only some of these models will change only some of them only some of them not all of them will change and since we are using only aggregation operation like majority vote isn't it are we not using just see bagging what is this we are using majority majority vote just see this one yes 
Yes, since we are using only aggregation operations like majority vote, by changing the data set DN slightly, the overall result does not change. By changing the data set, my model does not change much. By removing a small subset of points from 10,000 points, that is DN, it only impacts small subset of samples which means since it's only impact subset of models since since we are using aggregation operation like mean median or majority vote there is a very small chance that it could actually change the result so what does it imply this implies that bagging is bagging is a concept can reduce the variance in a model because look at it just see each of these base models, each of these base models, this is base model 1, base model 2, base model k, okay, each of these base models may have high variance, these models may have high variance, high variance, isn't it? But because of the way, because of the way we are aggregating them, because of the way we are sampling, because of bootstrap sampling, because of aggregation, the two key parts of bagging is bagging has bootstrapping, bagging has bootstrapping and aggregation, isn't it? Because of the way we, we designed system of sampling and aggregation, bagging techniques can reduce. Bagging techniques, just see that's what it says, bagging techniques, bagging techniques, bagging techniques can reduce the variance in model without impacting the bias we know that model model error or generalization error is depend on what is this model error or generalization error just check this one model error or model error or generalization error is depend on bias square and variance now imagine each of my base model mi each of my base model mi is of low bias and high variance is of low bias and high variance model if they are low bias and high variance model then they are the base models isn't it by performing bagging on mis means by performing bagging on, on m1 m2 so on m case using my bootstrap aggregation strategy bagging will reduce the overall variance without impacting the bias by by bagging them i will continue to have low bias but my variance will be reduced isn't it bagging of mis will give low bias and reduced variance and why is the variance why is the variance reducing because of the combination of our bootstrap bootstrapping stage and aggregation stage i hope you are convinced that the variance reduces because by removing bunch of points the overall model has not changed much isn't it of course some of these models m1 m2 so on mk may change isn't it some of these model may change but not all of them only a subset of them since only subset of them may change since we are aggregating the results we are aggregating by using majority vote mean or median across all those models the final result results will not change significantly this is a core fundamental mathematical idea bagging basically says intuitively bagging says take a bunch of take a bunch of low bias just let me say take a bunch of low bias yes I, I can say here this is take a bunch of let me say like this what it says yes take a bunch of low bias high variance models and combine them using bagging using bootstrapping and aggregation what you get now basically a low bias reduced variance I would not say fully low variance reduced variance model I, I would not say fully low variance or reduced variance model what is the goal Ex example of low biased and high variance model if you, if you think about decision tree of reasonable depth 
a decision tree of large depth a decision tree of reasonable a decision a, a decision tree of reasonable good depth has high variance and low bias so one of the very popular bagging technique bagging techniques using deep decision tree deep decision trees decision trees with good depth because they are high variance and low bias models and and it combines them using a strategy of bagging and the technique is called random forest we will we, we, we will we will discuss about random forest in next few lectures this is the whole idea bagging is bagging intuitively is a way to reduce variance in your model by combining them using the brilliant strategy of bootstrapping and aggregation while not impacting the bias what is this bootstrapping and aggregation just in previous one yes here we are just here we are applying here this is bootstrapping this is aggregation isn't it that's that's what it says it's a bootstrapping and aggregation while uh, while while not impacting the bias while keeping the bias also low we know that the model generalization error is the sum of bias and uh, some 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 of the bias and some of inherent error we are keeping the bias same we are reducing the variance this is the crux this is a crux of course isn't it this is the key key part the crux specifies how bagging is impl uh, implemented uh, bagging bagging is implementing changes the bagging implementation changes algorithm to algorithm of course random forest is most popular most used and most popular bagging algorithm actually lot of times people think that random forest is the only possible algorithm with bagging you can you can come up with your own bagging algorithms random forest is most successful and extremely popular extremely widely used algorithm is super good it, it, it is super good actually super good elegant extremely good and extremely simple just go through this lecture if you have any difficulty please keep a comment thank you very much